What up, what up? Welcome to my channel where we're doing music covers, original music, album reviews, song reviews, reactions, tier lists, whatever the day calls for. If you like what you see here, please subscribe to the channel. If you have content on here, I'll subscribe to you as well. I am all about supporting up-and-comers on here. My original music can be found at robcarry.bandcamp.com. I have one album to my name right now. It's called Communication. It is quite a few years old now, but I am finally working on the follow-up to that album. It will be called Ugly Living. And I've said on my past few videos that I have big news coming on that front. I think it's finally time to release that news. And that is that the first studio session for my next album begins on March 11th. What a great way to spend 311 Day. And speaking of 311, I just watched uh, Nick from 311 uh, do an interview with K-Rock talking about how their next album is almost done and hearing about like the, their band chemistry and how they've managed to keep things going all these years especially when I see like other bands that I've loved like either kind of become stagnant or not do anything for a while like for my favorite band of all time to just constantly be a machine that never stops working and just has such a love for their fans and what they do in studio and live like I'm so grateful that we still have their music. Like, they've been my favorite band since 97, and I can't wait for what comes next with with those guys. And the fans tell them all the time how much their music helps them in their everyday life. But it doesn't matter how many times fans tell them that, I don't think they'll ever truly know their impact in the music world and just how much they help people with their amazing music. Why they are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet, I will never know. I have some self-performed clips on here of snippets of songs that are going to be on my new album. Anybody who has checked those out, I am extremely grateful. Thank you so much. The last couple have gotten a lot of views for just being a random nobody on YouTube. And I'm so excited to finally get this thing out there. Like Some of the things that I have written for this record have been... Five plus years in the making. Some of the stuff is brand new. Like my last record came out in 2016. So I got like so much material from 2017 and onward. Some of it being brand new stuff I've just written. I just can't wait to put this all together. But I've had a couple reactions planned out. Some of them I even like started filming but gave up on. Uh, I actually happened to have a day off the day the new Dealer song came out. I really liked the last Dealer track, Red Teeth. Their new track, Glass Preacher, dropped on my day off. And I was like, well, you know, I'm just kind of chilling here. I'll make a reaction to that. And it ended up boring me so much that I didn't even want to finish the reaction. And I wanted to do the new Slaughter to Prevail track, Conflict. And there was no way for me to get the track, like get the audio for the track. Like I always purchase the tracks. Anything I react to, I always buy the song. And if I like it enough, I'll put it on my iPod. You know, I'm all about supporting the artist. And I thought that Conflict was the worst song the Slaughter Prevail ever did. I'm kind of worried about the direction of that band. Born of Osiris, I wanted to react to that. They had a new song. But their last track, Torchbearer, it sounded so uninspired that it sounded like they didn't even want to be playing it. And the key member that has kept my interest in Born of Osiris after all these years recently left the band. So I didn't really want to do that. I thought, hey, let's, let's dive into a band that I've never covered on this channel before. Because they have a brand new song and this band is called Knocked Loose. They need no introduction. They're a huge band. Like many people, I found out about Knock Loose through their breakthrough album, A Different Shade of Blue. And I really appreciate the more old school, early 2000s style of metalcore that they bring. And the very chaotic, noisy vocals. I can't say I've went back to this band a whole bunch, but they have certain songs off that album that I really liked. And then their latest EP... A Tear in the Fabric of Life, I thought was a huge step up. I never could do what this vocalist does. Like, his style of screaming. It just, it's so visceral and chaotic, and 
it comes from a certain part of your throat where when you listen to him scream, it just feels like it hurts. Like it's almost like listening to Tilly and belt out for dance, Gavin dance. Like, it's like, this shit is amazing, but I don't ever want to do this shit myself because it sounds like it fucking hurts. You know what I mean? Those songs on a tear in the fabric of life were such a huge step up. I liked it a lot. So many bands kind of disappointing me right now that I've wanted to check out, like with new material. I figured why not just check out a band that I've never covered on here before. So they have a brand new song called Blinding Faith. There's a brand new album coming out in May. And I don't really know what else to say, man. Let's just get into it. <laughs> fun to hear what people think of a song like the first time you listen to it but with a song this kind of like jarring where you got to kind of take everything in I don't feel like I would be doing a proper analysis of it by just coming back on here and saying what I thought of it first listen I listened to it a few more times and I never thought I'd say this but I, for a knocked loose song I actually thought this was going to be a little bit noisier it's what you've come to expect from the band I am ready to give this a 7.5 out of 10 right out the gate. The singer brought it like he always does, but I feel like compared to some of the other Knock Loose songs that I've heard, this one, by their standards, is more restrained. It was sporadic, but there were other parts that were sporadically written where I've listened to this band enough to know what to expect from the band where I kind of knew where it was going to go next. Like I was watching the reaction part of this just to make sure nothing fucked up or anything on my end before making this part. And it kind of looks like I heard the song before and, and I didn't like I never would do a fake reaction or anything like that. Like, what's the point? There's no fun in that. But 
I knew where a lot of the directions were going, just having been a casual fan of this band. The pros, the production, the noisiness, the vocalist does a great job as always. The cons, I would say this could have been a little bit more interesting on the guitar front, you know? I, I think it's a pretty good 7.5 out of 10. There are songs on their last EP and the LP that really blew them up that I liked a lot less than this, and I liked a lot more than this. I would say this is a very much middle of the pack track for this band. My friend that's producing my upcoming album, he's a huge fan of Knock Loose, and he was telling me about how they have managed to break through into these mainstream markets without compromising their sound, and I think there's something to be said for that. And this album that's coming in May, I might be more interested in that than I've ever been with anything related to this band. Like, I think that if they're going to create the crowning achievement of their career, I think this is going to be it, this upcoming album. It could go either way. Even though, like, I had, like, my issues with The Different Shade of Blue, I didn't always know what to expect. Like, there's always something to be loved about unpredictability when it comes to chaotic metalcore. I'd say this is a middle-of-the-road track. I liked it. I'll go back to it. It's not my favorite Knock Loose song. It's far from my least favorite Knock Loose song. It sits right in the middle there, and that's all I got to say about this one. Until next time, thanks for watching.